so I've gone ahead and spray painted the chair. Now all I'm gonna do is show you the product I'm gonna use to put the fur on. So for this project, I am using this heavy duty head liner and carpet adhesive. I have done this project before and I did it in all white. You may wanna check that video out. Wait till the end of this video and you'll see a picture of the white chair and you can go to it and watch that video also. But this is what I'm gonna use to adhere the fur on. You're going to need fur. I got two yards of it and you will need some type of spray paint. I chose this metallic uh, silver color by Rust-Oleum. So I've gone ahead and spray painted the chair last night and let it dry. So this is how it turned out. While I'm, waiting on, while I'm waiting on this to dry, I just thought I'd show you that in this case, it doesn't matter if you get paint on the actual fabric because no one is gonna see it. It's all gonna be covered up. This chair came from the Dollar Tree. I'm sorry. <laughs> think everything comes from the Dollar Tree. No, it came from the thrift store. It cost $1. And uh, like I said, I've already done this project. Um, I bought two of these chairs, so I spent $2 on them. And you can tell it's something that used to be in a dentist office or some type of office, but it's very sturdy. And for a dollar, you can't go wrong. So I am just letting it dry. And I just wanted to show you that I did get paint everywhere. So I'm going to spray this on, this um, headliner, what that is, is on the top of your car, um, it's the, the fabric that's up there, and if it starts to come down, this is what they use to put it back up. I happen to have that happen to my car, so that's why I bought this, but then I thought that it would probably be really good for this project, so that's why I'm using it. So you're just going to spray it on, this is going to be really, really simple. Actually, I'm going to put the chair down and start on the back. So you're just going to spray it on. Oops. And then you're going to go back and touch it and make sure that it's gotten tacky. And then you can start adhering the fur or whatever kind of fabric you want to use. The fur is very forgiving. Can't really see the mistake so well, so I really enjoy using it. So you see how it looks on there. And it doesn't take long. You can touch it and you can tell that it's getting tacky. Yeah, you see how I'm touching it and it's pulling up. So it's getting tacky. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay the fur over it. So all I'm gonna do is just drape it over here and smooth it out. And if you need to, I may have waited a little bit too long. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it and spray some. I'm gonna spray some on this side too. Now that I know where I want it. As you can see, I'm able to manipulate it and move it around. You can just pick it up if it's not where you want it and relay it down. It will just come up before it dries completely. And I'd imagine that even if it's dried completely and you see an area you want to fix, I'd imagine you could still pick it up and just put some more adhesive on. So this is very, very forgiving. Y'all know I'm not a perfectionist. So it has to be forgiving. <laughs> so this is what it's looking like so far. I think it's looking gorgeous. Y'all let me know what y'all think. All I'm gonna do now is just cut off the excess. Whoop. The corner of this one you don't have to do this and on my white chair that I did I didn't do this but I'm gonna do it for this one all I did was just cut it where the corner was and so that I can 
tuck it around. I'm not going to worry about cutting off the excess all around here on the sides because I'm just going to tuck it under. Spray the adhesive on and tuck it under. So, but I did it right here just so you'd be able to see the silver. So now all I'm going to do is spray under here and fold this under. And then I am going <laughs> to have to get a little tricky with the sides right here, but I'll be right back and show you what I'm going to do with that. Get the excess off the side. I just pulled it like this and then I just cut down and this is how much I cut off. So I cut it together. I hope y'all can understand what I'm saying. Like I cut it like this. So it's two layers and I just cut straight down the side and then I'm going to fold this in and finesse it to cover up where I cut it. So this is what I did. I'm trying to show you in a better way. I just pulled it straight and then I start cutting it. You see where I cut here and I just cut straight down. So this is the other side and you should end up with a strip like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a little bit more off the back than I did off the front because I'm gonna hot glue this on here and then I'm basically gonna fold this over and take it around to the back and hot glue it. So I'm just gonna really finesse this, okay? It's kind of hard for me to show you. I'll do the best that I can, but um, I cut them off first evenly where I just cut down the side, but now I'm gonna cut off a little extra of this just because I need to fold it and I don't want it to be really um, chunky. So that's all I'm doing. So I'm gonna fold this end piece under and so that's going to kind of finish that off and I'm just going to come around here with some hot glue. So all I'm doing is what I told you. I'm just going to fold it over and fold it over again and it's hard for me to show you how I'm going to glue that but keep in mind that this is the back of the chair and no one is probably going to be looking at the back of the chair if you're going to have it in a corner all they're going to see is what's up here so as long as you fold things under like I did here and like I'm doing here it gives you it, it makes it look like it's finished so you know just finesse it don't worry about it um, if you're a perfectionist, this project is probably not for you. I am not a perfectionist. So to me, this fur will just blend together and everything will be fine and it will be beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it just like that and show you the finished product. completed chair it turned out gorgeous y'all go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about it and I like the uh, silver legs although they could have been gold gold would have been pretty also so y'all weigh in and let me know if you would have done the gold because I was in Ross or somewhere and I saw a beautiful gray chair with gold legs and that's when I thought maybe I should have done it in gold and so I hope that y'all like this. And I, again, uh, let me put that disclaimer out there. I am not an upholsterer and I do not sew, but you can put something together that looks nice without knowing how to sew, <laughs> as long as you have a hot glue gun and some spray adhesive. So I hope y'all like this. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button and leave me a comment below. I love y'all. Bye-bye, my beautiful people. And don't forget to check out the other chair tutorial I did. It's just like this one, except the fur on the chair is white and the legs are white. So have a great day. See you next time, my beautiful people. Bye-bye.